YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Argument breaks out at a board meeting. Let's get into it. I trans. Your kids trans. Show me some fucking respect. Did you ever consider setting up somewhere for us to actually speak? No, you didn't. So we're doing it ourselves. This is not a church. This is not a church. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> And the same goes for you. Uh, what? Why? Why can't you allow both sides of the issue to talk? When is this going to go on? With you guys not controlling the meeting? Control the meeting and get them out. So what it seems like is it as if you want free speech as long as it benefits you, as long as you get what you want. I trans. All for it. Listen. I'm against, I'm against them going into a meeting where it's formal. If you want to go in there and do all that kind of stuff. Now, they said, why don't you have a place for us to speak? Obviously, I wish I had more backstory. I'm assuming they have a place to speak. A lot of places will let you speak on dang near anything, right? And they'll allow people to come in there and sit and talk and listen, right? They, what they should have did is sat there and listen, right? I get protesting, guys, but I never understand protesting in the middle of a meeting or in the middle of, like, a conference or something. It's like, if you want to protest that kind of stuff, one, you got YouTube. You got other social media outlets you can go to to express all the feelings you want to. Two, you can do a peaceful protest outside of the building, right? But what I noticed with, and this is not just this group. Normally, now I have seen this a lot with these kind of trans groups. They always seem to be yelling because they tend to be unhinged people, especially as somebody who's struggling with the identity of being a male or female. They tend to be more unhinged. That's just that's just what it is. Um, but even, even other groups, BLM was a thing, and all these other kind of groups and all these other kind of groups we got today. Any group that protests and just wants to get loud and scream, it, it, it's harder for me to respect them or even want to hear them out. Because when you come out and start screaming and yelling and throwing a hissy fit like a little kid, it's hard to be like, absolutely, you got it. You know, I think at some point we need to just take a step back and start asking ourselves some questions like, what are we doing all this yelling for? Why are we screaming? Why are we doing all this? Are we, are we actually getting our point across? And to whom? You're doing it to them at a meeting inside. Those are people who are obviously, how are they going to, what do they, what do you want them to do at that point? I think that's the conversation we've been having a lot lately. It's like, what do you want? Going to a meeting and screaming and yelling at people, what is the outcome? Then to be like, what if they were like, okay, um, just go down to the local courthouse or whatever and go set up a meeting that way. Do you think they would have just left peacefully? I don't think so. Some people just want to be loud and obnoxious. We see this in children a lot where they just want to be loud and obnoxious about something. And we see this in people who just don't know how to control their emotions. The worst people to deal with are people who can't control their tone or their emotions. I understand when people get loud. Um, I understand some people get passionate and sometimes they can without raising their voice. I understand that. And sometimes it is for entertainment, such as we see on sports shows and debate shows. Um, it is for entertainment purposes. But in the real world out here, all right, Sometimes we got to take stuff off of social media on in real life. When you start yelling all that stuff, it doesn't show it, 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 it shows you have a lower intellect and you can't have these kind of conversations. Some people, they go into this and thinking that yelling and holding up a sign is having a conversation and it's just not. So please, when you want to do this kind of stuff and you really want to have a conversation about a topic that you really you feel like is serious and you want to be taken seriously, that is not the way to show up. Don't show up yelling, screaming and all that. Show up and be like, Show up at the meeting and then afterwards be like, hey, look, we haven't been happy. I understand you're against what we're saying, but if you could just give us the opportunity to talk and just hear our side of the story, maybe we can, you know, have a conversation. But getting in there and yelling, it, it doesn't help anything. It just shows a spectacle. And I know I've heard some people in the past talk about, well, that's sometimes the only way you can get through to people. OK, that's fine. But what do you do afterwards? Uh, that's my thing is like if you start showing riots, burning down buildings, will the point get across in some cases? Yes, I'm sure history shows that riots and blah, blah, blah. But in this case, in a, in the middle of a meeting between other people, I just think that at some point there's got to be somebody. There's got to be somebody who is at least um, socially inept that can actually be. Like, OK, you see what we're doing now. There should be somebody behind the scenes. We can also go up and be like, who should be able to go to this kind of stuff? Doing all that outside. Listen, I can't get too deep into it because I, I, 
personally, I don't, I've never ride it or do anything. I've not seen a situation for me to get involved in that. But some people say there's reasons behind it. Some reason historically. Okay, fine. I don't ever think it's right to go burning down buildings of people who work hard for this stuff just to get a point across because it only hurts more people. I still think there's an intellectual way we can go about stuff. But anyway, in some cases may call for it. Okay, let's just say there is. But once again, in a place like this, I think there should be somebody who is socially inept, maybe strongly believe in trans kids and surgeries, who can sit down and have a conversation. Be like, look, this is what I believe, you know. And I believe that if you can just give us the opportunity to sit down, have a conversation, um, and y'all can come to our meetings, you're allowed in, and we'll, we'll talk about it. Because this is what I feel like the meeting would also dissolve into. If, even if they were given a meeting, all it would be is yelling and screaming. It'd be, and they'd be like, trans kids, design surgery, trans kids. It'd just be like, there'd be no actual intellect in there. Or at least it doesn't sound like there's anybody intellectual enough to have the conversation. You you need somebody who can have these conversations, sit down and keep calm and keep ahead about it. And then your people who can't do that, who are more your emotional drivers, hype drivers, keep them outside because every conversation can be had in different places. But maybe I'm crazy. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I never do this because I always forget to do it. But uh, if you ever want to donate, bow. What can I change? TSS. There's my cash app. Some people ask me about it, but I just I just rarely ever put it up. Um, I you know it is what it is. But if you ever want to donate to the channel, all the money goes back to this channel. Uh, clothes, um, this stuff, the stuff you see in the back, this all goes back to it. You see, we're always trying to constantly improve over here. My tie's not in the middle for some reason, but uh, yeah. If you ever want to donate, there it is. All right, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.